Aubrey wanted to see if there is a connection between the time a given exam takes place and the average score of this exam. She collected data about exams from the previous year. Plot the data in a scatter plot. And let's see, they give us a couple of rows here. This is the class. Then they give us the period of the day that the class happened. And then they give us the average score on an exam. And one could, you know, there, there, we have to be a little careful with this study. Maybe there's some correlation depending on what subject is taught during what period. But let's just use her data, and at least just based on her data, see if, see, well, definitely do what they're asking us plot a scatter plot, and then see if there is any connection. So let's see. On the vertical, on, on the horizontal axis, we have period, and on this investigation, this, this exploration she's doing, she's trying to see, well, does, does the period of the day somehow drive average score? So that's why period is on the horizontal axis, and the thing that's, being, the thing that's driving is on the horizontal, the thing that's being driven is on the vertical. So let's plot each of these points. Period one, average score 93. Period one, average score 93, right over there. Period six, 87, period six, 87, 80, oh, that's not the right place, and then we can move it if we want, 87 right over there, period two, 70, two, period two, 70, period four, 62, four, four and 62 right over there, period four and 86, Period four, and again an 86, that's right over there. Period one, 73. Period one, 73. Period three, average score of 73 as well. Period three, 73. Period one, 80, average score of 80. So period one, average score of 80. And then period three, average score of 96. Period three, average score of 96. So there we go. And it doesn't really seem like there's any obvious, any obvious, any obvious trend over here. So let's make sure that we got this right. And we did.